just purchased this Tesla for costing less than ten dollars from eBay and figured I'd test it out. It's supposed to be a musical Tesla Paul. It actually says PLL Tesla Paul, but I think it's actually just like a Slayer exciter. All I need is a small soldering iron, and uh, I'll time lapse through it and then get to the stage where we're going to test it. It actually comes with the circuit diagram, which I have over here. So here's the circuit diagram. It's all in Chinese, but it's uh, pretty easy to figure out with the symbols. So here's the finalized product, complete with audio cable that they supplied. Had a couple of things missing. Um, it didn't have one of the heat sinks in the packet, so I had to make one out of bending some aluminum strip, cutting it, getting it to fit. So that was an inconvenience. Also, it didn't have all the screws for the standoff, so I had to compromise here, uh, or improvise rather, and make this. So couple of things missing. Initially I thought one of the two dies was missing and finally found it. It was lying on the table and hard to find. So I ended up putting one of my own diodes in right there but it still works. That's a red diode and I think what they supplied is also a red diode. So um, let me take it out of this hot garage and move it to some place where you can see it in action. Okay, I'm going to test it out with some audio now. Here it goes. Seems to be pretty decent for a coil that costs about $10. bunch of tubes that I'm going to test it out with. So first of all we'll start with this. This is basically a plasma globe. Let's see what that does. That forms some very interesting plasma discharges as you can see there. Now let's try a CFL. Taking the base of it, so it's just the bulb part. That lights up almost full brightness. Here's a slightly bigger one. Let's try that. Wow, that's also going bright. Here's a neon bulb. Which glows at quite a, quite a distance, about six inches. And here's a UV CFL. Producing UV light there. Hope you find this uh, interesting. Definitely worth uh, buying this since it's only about ten dollars. I think the individual components combined cost more than that. It did have a few things missing from the packet, but um, easily able to to improvise by making some of the components that were missing, like adding a screw, adding a a heat sink. So all in all, I think a good um, start if you're interested in tesla cores and electronics and a great project thanks for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos